All right, welcome, uh, welcome, Yannick, and uh, and welcome to to the press. And I just want to take this opportunity to uh, toast uh, your magnificent victory, your great match, your great comeback, your first Grand Slam title. We're very happy it's here in Australia. It'll be one you'll remember forever. Um, but just the way you've gone about this event and uh, and the and the beautiful words you gave to young kids about playing the game, which is really important to everyone else in the room. So. So thank you, and here's cheers to Yannick and his victory, and to the end of a magnificent Australian Open. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so Thanks. much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So Yannick, if you want to say something, first up, you haven't stopped basically since the match point, but has it sunk in yet? What you've just achieved? No, for sure, it takes a little a little while to process everything, but I'm extremely happy how how I handled also today's situation. On court was was very very tough, and but I think the most important part was 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 the support I had throughout these two weeks. Um, I felt. That many many people were watching also uh, from home uh, in the TV, so I I just tried my best. Uh, I, um, I was a little bit <laughs> in trouble today uh, with uh, two sets to love down and, and a little little bit over one hour. So I I just tried to stay stay positive, trying to stick into the game plan which I had to adjust a little bit. Uh, Daniel is, uh, is an incredible player and um, he has showed this also today again, an incredible fighter. Um, he has been so many hours on court and uh, so it's, it's, I'm, I'm obviously sorry for, for him today, but uh, for sure he will, he will lift some more Grand Slam trophies. <coughs> okay, questions, one, one each, please, Eleanor. By how aggressive Daniel was to start with, and how proud are you of the way that you managed to turn the match around? Yeah, for sure. I was I was expecting something different from his side, so I I, I had this feeling that he might come out a little bit more aggressive, not this aggressive. So um, he played really really well um, the for the first two sets or two and a half sets. Um, I tried just to. To play even level, um, trying to take a couple of chances in the third set, which which then I've done. And you know, when you win one very important game, um, the match can change occasionally, and 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 that was the case today. Um, I just try to 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 stay as long in the court as possible, um, knowing that he has been so many hours on the court, and then. The more the match goes on, maybe physically I'm a little bit better today um, because he played so many hours, and and I think that today was was the key. Simon, yeah, was there a particular moment in the last year or so, maybe when you you thought to yourself, I'm I'm ready to to win a Grand Slam title like this? I think the season what I have done. Not last year, two years ago, um, getting to know my my body better, um, getting to to know my team better. Um, this was a very important step for me. Um, then last year we we tried to uh, to have some more um, results. Um, I started off really well from from the indoor tournaments. Then in the Wells in Miami, I made semi-final, final. Then also Monaco, I made semi-final. Um, um, then the semis in Wimbledon. So I had very good results, and I, I think that made me made me believe that I could um, that I can compete against the best players in the world. And but now I I I'm, I still have to process it because it was you know beating Novak in the semis, and then today Daniel in the final. It's uh, <laughs> they are tough players to beat, so it's um, it's a it's a great moment for me and my team. But in the other way, we also know that we have to improve um, if we want to have another chance to to hold a big trophy again. So we then this is all, um, yeah. Uh, the process will will and the hard work uh, occasionally will always pay off. James. You, you spoke very movingly on court about your parents and them giving you the freedom to choose as a kid. Uh, a lot of people at your age are still living with their parents at home. You travel the world for a living. 
What's your relationship with them like now? How much do you see them? And, and can you talk a bit more about how important they've been to your success? I don't see them <laughs> so often, unfortunately. But when I see them, it's always great time. Um, I went away from home when I was 14 years old. Um, so I, I, I had to grow up quite fast trying to cook for myself, trying to make laundry, you know, the first time it's, it's, it is different, um, you know, it's, but then in the other way, it's, it's, that was maybe the fastest way to grow up. Um, and um, I think for, for me it was tough, but for the parents to leave the son with 14 years old, it's, it's also not easy. And they always gave me a, a they never put pressure on myself, um, which for me was is maybe the key why I'm here today. Um, I'm a very or quite relaxed man um, who just enjoys uh, to play tennis. And I'm 22 years old, so I also enjoy uh, to do normal stuff. Um, and that's it. No, it's 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 they are the perfect parents. And in, in, in obviously, I know all only them so <laughs> but it's uh they are awesome and and also my brother he he brings me uh honesty um throughout the whole the whole career i'm going through when uh, when darren was in here earlier he was saying he thought it was special the first time he heard you hitting a ball just the sound that the ball makes on your racket i'm curious when you realized that you had a special talent uh, for hitting the ball in that, that way that even a coach like him is amazed by. Um, and also I'm wondering how you keep all your hair in your hat. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is a <laughs> tough question. I don't, I don't, I cannot answer that. <laughs> it's magic, you know. <laughs> um, about uh, like it's tough to say if someone is like from my point of view that I am inside me basically it's 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 tough to understand when someone says look you are special or you are a good player because in, you know only yourself it's it's like you are you cannot touch the ball what you are hitting in the other side so it's it's but in the other way um my my journey uh it, has been quite fast. Um, I won Challenger when I was around 17. Then I won the next gen. Um, then came the first ATP uh, tournament. And you know, so it's you live this kind of uh, movement, and then and, and you just try to to keep improving, and then and you don't even realize how fast things are going. Um, and you know. It's, Sitting here with this trophy now, uh, watching it, it's 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 for me. I still have to to realize it now because it's 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 one of the biggest trophies we have in our sport, and so I'm really happy that I can share this with with my team today. And and but in another way, I also know that I have I I have to keep working for for other occasions. Speaking of that trophy, you're the first Italian man to have your name etched on that trophy. How much does that mean to be able to represent Italy, and what do you think that means to you know tennis players in your in your country? Yeah, it means a lot. Maybe the most important because um, the support I get uh, throughout the now already years it's 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 incredible, and and being able to. To make them happy today, because I I've, I've, I feel like that that they pushed me also um, to that I can believe in myself and uh, and then having having so much support it's 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 amazing and um, having them um, it's it's tough to say because it's like the crowd they give you that's the reason why you why you play in one way because when when the stadium is packed uh, 15,000 people they are cheering for for you or for your opponent it's 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 an amazing feeling just to just just to go on court and then obviously when you're in a tough situation you want to make 
a good match also like today i was going so fast i was two sets to love down but you know all the people who came there to watch i was like i have to i have to at least trying to make it a match somehow and and, and that was today's case about winning a lot of big titles at various levels at a young age. Did you feel the pressure quite a lot, especially within Italy? People said they thought you were going to be a Grand Slam champion of the future. Did, did you feel the pressure to live up to people's expectations? Yeah, there, there is always pressure. Um, but the pressure is something good. You have to take it in a, in a good way. It's a, it's a privilege, no? Um, because there are not so many players who who have this kind of pressure, but in the other way, when, when you have pressure, it's always, uh, okay, he he believes that I can really do it. And um, so, yes, uh, I like to to dance in the in the pressure storm. I, I don't, I don't know how to, how to tell, like I, me personally, I like it because that's where most of the time I, I bring out my best tennis. Um, and I'm also quite relaxed in, in in this occasion because you, I always try to to enjoy on on the court and and so I think pressure is is a privilege to be honest. Uh, hi, uh, congratulations. I was wondering what at what point in the match today you started to feel like this was your match to win. That you started to feel like you were in control. Where did it turn for you? Uh, control. <laughs> it's tough to say, but when when I got the break on 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 the, on the fourth set, uh, fourth. yeah, I I started to feel like okay, I'm I'm there. I can I can I can do it um, because the one break in the third set um, on five four, I, I I broke him when six four. It's it was obviously maybe the most important break I've. I've done today because it 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 made me to have one set and then then trying to see how 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 he reacts. But yeah, um, if I have to choose, I I guess was the break in the in the fourth set. Two more, Mark. Congratulations, Yannick. Um, everyone always talks about your composure and how you take everything in your stride, whether it's on the court, off the court. Right now, you seem very calm still, but. Do you feel ready for everything that's about to come? That the even higher expectations, the extra attention that's going to come from this? Yeah, I feel it's part of part of the game. No, um, for me, I'm I'm extremely happy that I'm in this position now. Um, I have a great team behind me who who knows what I have to do. Um, with Darren, he has a lot of experience. He he has been through this uh, already a numbers of time. Um, Simone, who we were talking already after the after the match, that we can improve still. Um, so it's you know it's it's all part of the process. Obviously, having this trophy, it's it's an amazing feeling. I I, I feel grateful to have this here, um, but I know that I have to work uh, even even harder because the opponents they will find a the way to, to beat me and I have to be prepared. So let's see what's coming in the future. Last one. Um, Yannick, did you, did you, uh, does it feel a little more special to win this when you're so young as opposed to you know, having to fight on for more years? And is it a little more special to win it when Novak is still playing so well, when he is still you know, the champion that he is and you, yeah, you were able to beat him? Yeah, it's, uh, it's special in any, in any way because it's, it's a big trophy. Um, it feels special when you when you see the big names in the draw and you can win it. This yes, because it, it I feel even more privileged to uh, to only be in the draw and, and 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 trying to trying to win against other players. And you know, the more then you go on, you see less people around the. Uh, you know, in the locker room or in the eating area, and and this makes you feel okay. I'm making a good tournament at the moment, and and that was exactly the feeling what I had like in the last three rounds or so, because from quarters there's quite empty, and that's I think a really really good feeling. Okay.
Thank you very much. We run this city.